Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Gadda. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about Spring AI. So, what is the Spring AI and how Spring Boot is incorporating the AIs in their projects? That is what we are going to discuss today. So, let me try to go to the Spring AI page first and try to explain you the things that we are going to discuss and implement. So let me try to come out of it and here let me try to go to the Spring AI. Okay, so if you'll go to this uh, site of Spring Boot or you can say Spring, you'll find this Spring AI and if you'll go inside this Spring AI APIs, you will see uh, how Spring has integrated AI in its projects. So there is a... Uh, uh, let me try to go to the overview first and then show you. So you can see the Spring AI. The Spring AI project aim to streamline the development of application that incorporate artificial intelligence functionality without unnecessary complexity. So they are just going to incorporate the AI in their application. Okay, so let's say you are going to develop a Spring Boot project. And how we try to include the starter dependency the same way you have to include the dependency for this AI tools like OpenAI, Azure AI or uh, let's say Google AI the, that is BARD and all. So you can integrate all of them in the Spring Boot application as a dependency and then start working on them. Start working on the modules that they have provided. Okay, so that is what we are going to discuss here. So this is the overview. You can come here to this page and I will provide you the link of this page in the description of the video so you can come here and read out the things okay now if you'll go to this spring ai apis inside this uh, you will find this chat client prompts so these are the features uh, for uh, provided by this ai tools you can go inside it and then see what is needed to do those things so let me try to go to this chat client so we are going to just uh, create a spring Boot application and try to integrate one of these AI tools inside it and then see how we can uh, carry out the feature of this AIs inside the Spring Boot application through some APIs, okay? So let me try to go to this chat client and here you will see the chat client interface streamlines interaction with AI models. It simplifies connecting to the various AI models, each with potentially unique APIs by offering a uniform interface for interaction. So you can see this, right? It offers to connect with multiple AI models. And if you'll go down, uh, you will find those AI models as well. You can see OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, Amazon Bedrock, Hugging Face, Olema. So these are the AI models that you can integrate. Okay, so let me try to go to this OpenAI and uh, try to integrate this OpenAI and try to create a uh, chat application or you can say generative application okay so let me try to do that so we are going to this open ai and we are just going to integrate this open ai in our application so if you'll go down you will find this dependency for the open ai uh, this is for the maven and this is for the gradle you can include any of them and you can see this is the controller that they have given you for example okay the same thing we are going to implement in our application as well so this this controller is having two APIs. Uh, the first one is uh, to generate the, uh, let's say some some kind of message that you want to generate. At default is like, tell me a joke. So when you are going to enter some prompt there in your postman or in your application, in your APIs, it will go to this open AI and then it will find out the result for you. Okay, so this is, kind of chatbot that we are going to create here the same one uh, for the like the second api is also doing the same thing but it is doing in the reactive programming okay so this is about the open ai and uh, let me try to go down you can just come here and try to read out the things so these are the dependency that we need and before that what we need is if you'll go to this overview uh, let me try to come here to this Spring AI and uh, let's say getting it started. So in the dependency management, you have to include this repository as well. Okay, so that we want to 
introduce to our application and then you can choose the chat models that you want so let's say we want to use this uh, open ai so you have to go to the open ai you have to uh, include the open ai dependency for the spring boot and apart from that you also have to generate a open ai key in order to connect with the open ai okay i will tell you how you can do that so you can come here this is for the spring boot cli okay so so this was the basic introduction of what we are going to implement here now let me try to go to the intellij and try to create one spring boot application here so come here to the file project and here you can find this spring in slicer option so directly you can create a spring boot project here if you are not using the intellij ultimate version you have to go to the spring dot io and there you will find the same page you can start developing your application there you can create your application with the necessary dependency and then you can download the zip file of your application and then unzip and open it in the id that you are comfortable in okay so let me try to uh, give the name of this application let's say it is spring ai demo and just select this uh, maven and uh, let me try to go to the next okay just cancel it out i already have created this okay so let's say spring ai something like that only okay let me try to go next and select the lombok and web dependency and just create the application now open this in a new tab and just wait for few second here so it will try to uh, do the necessary configuration and once it is done you can do your part so before uh, going to do the development let me try to go to the pom.xml file and here we need to add the repository as well as the dependency for the open ai that we are going to use in this video so just go to this uh, website again and try to copy this repository here so it is copied now now go to your application and inside this uh, build after the build you can just put it out just let me try to come out of it just copy this again and go to this and okay i'm just not able to copy or what let me try to again copy this it is copied just right click on it and let me try to paste it out here okay so just we copied the repository and just paste it out inside our pom.xml okay now let me try to load the maven here so that this repository can be included and after that we'll try to include the dependency for the open ai okay so go to the spring ai again and go to this spring ai apis and getting it started now if we'll go down go to the open ai and just copy this dependency of open ai now again come here to the application go to the dependency section and try to include this dependency as well now just reload the maven again and you are good to go okay and uh, let me try to also tell you how you can create the open ai or you can say the chat gpt key okay so basically it is a open ai that manages the chat gpt so you have to create a key for the open ai to access its public apis so just come here and let me try to go there and just op uh, try to search for the open ai okay so just search for the open ai and if you'll go inside this it will ask you to log in or to try to if you already have a account on it just uh, try to log in with that uh, username and the password and if you do you have you don't have then you have to create an account on this open ai once you create a account on the open ai go to this uh, page overview and here you will find this option where you can find this api keys now it will come here you can create a new api api key for you and uh, just copy that api key and then keep it somewhere i already have keep it here so i am just going to use this api key okay so this is how you can create the open ai api key and you need this key in order to 
interact with the OpenAI APIs. Okay, so this is about the OpenAI and how to create the OpenAI key. Okay, if you come here, you can see uh, to getting started with the OpenAI, you need to cre create a key. So you can also click on this link and it will also like try to navigate you to the OpenAI keys. Okay, so you can also go there or you directly can search for the OpenAI and create an account and come to this OpenAI keys and then create a key. Okay, key, keep that key somewhere safe so that you can use it later on in the development. So this is about the OpenAI key. Now we have the key and we also have created the application and we included the necessary dependency and the repository as well. Now we can do the development. So we are just going to simply develop one API which is provided here itself. You can see this chat controller. We are just going to create and create this one API and try to see how we can generate the messages according to the prompt that we are sending. Okay, so just copy this thing. And let me try to go there to the application and create a controller like chat controller. Okay, so come here and just right click on it. Let's say we are just going to create a controller package first and then going to create the chat controller class here. Okay, now you can paste it out the thing that you have copied from and let me try to include the necessary dependency that we are going to use. So we are just going to use this rest client and chat client as well stream chat client if you want to use you can use it out if you don't want to use uh, just uh, like ignore this one so you can see this chat client is coming from the ai.chat so make sure it is coming from the right library okay now we are not going to use the uh, reactive programming one so we are just going to remove this uh, one and uh, we are just going to remove this one from the constructor as well now let me try to import the auto wire and remove this from here and we are good now we are just going to comment out this piece of code let's say this one and we are just going to include the get mapping map and uh, request parameters so all those we have to import and then we have to generate this uh, let me try to come out of it and let's say just search for this okay okay we are not finding out this generate method of the chat controller so let me try to go to the chat controller and then see so if we'll go to the chat controller, you will find this method called call and uh, inside that we have to send the message and it is going to call the things. Okay, so let me try to go there and try to call the call method and then provide the message inside the call and see. Okay, so we are good. Now everything look good to me though. So what we did is we have created one controller class and we are just going to replicate the API provided by the Spring AI itself. Okay, so we are not going to add anything here. Now let me try to go to the application.properties file and try to add the key that we have generated. Okay, so just search for this, like you have to provide the key here. So it is Spring dot open, sorry, Spring dot AI dot open AI dot keys yeah open AI key and then you have to provide the key here so I already have copied the key so just copy it and paste it there now we are good now let me try to run this application and try to hit the API from the postman so go to this chat controller and try to copy this URL and come here to the postman and then see so our application will be up on the port number 8080 and then 
we don't have any class level mapping so we are directly going to the get mapping that we have created okay so it is open ai hyphen or forward slash generate okay so this application is up and running and this is running on the port number 8080 we have created the apis we have provided the key here and let me try to come here to the controller and try to hit the con uh, this api from the postman now just wait for a few seconds and here you can see uh, we are getting one response and the status is 200 and what we are getting here let me try to show you so if you'll come here to the api you will see that if we are not providing any request parameter in our api call then it is by default searching for a tell me a joke like the prompt that it is sending to this call is tell me a joke so in the response we will get the joke here so come here again to the uh, postman and then see so the joke is why do scientists trust atoms because they make up everything so this is a joke okay let me try to uh, send you or try to hit the api uh, and try to search for the custom prompt that we are going to provide there okay so let me try to ask it for the joke in hindi and then see how it is reacting okay so come here and uh, go to the parameters and we have to add this message parameter there so copy this out and just let's say we have to add the message here and let's say in the message you have to provide the thing or we have to provide the prompt that you want so let's say I'm just going to provide here tell me a joke in Hindi something like that let's see if it is working or not it should work so just hit it and you can see this is coming in Hindi okay so this is how you can uh, integrate this Spring AI in your Spring Boot application okay so and whatever uh, prompt you will provide here it will give you the response according to that okay so let me try to summarize you the things so what we have to do is we have to first go to the spring ai try to read something about the spring ai how it works what are the models ai models that it uh, provides you you can use that how you can use that pick one of the models try to generate the key for that and try to integrate that model in your spring boot application and then see how it is working so this is how you can integrate the spring ai in your spring boot application so this is about the video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks